Don't you just love how these are only popping up now in elimination games? Nothing controversial about that! Afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Yes, Welcome I am. Back to another episode of Goal or No Goal, where we talk about controversial goals or non goal calls. And I just give my thoughts on it. I break it down. I say why I agree or disagree with what the league decided. So let's talk about this one. Game five may not sound important until you realize Edmonton is up. 3-1 in the series over the Calgary Flames. It's been a back and forth affair. We streamed this game, actually. Um, Flames had a lead for a time. Oilers had a lead briefly. Um, Flames had the lead again, but we're back tied 4-4. This game would be destined for overtime, but possibly not with a play like this. Now, Blake Coleman would go into the... Would be, there'd be an original shot on net. Mike Smith would make the save, but he wouldn't make it fully because the puck would trickle in behind him. Let's do that. As we can see, puck trickles behind him. And then Blake Coleman knocks it in, and that is the go-ahead goal to make it 5-4 Flames. This goal would be disallowed for a distinct kicking motion. We would go to overtime, and Connor McDavid would, Connor McDavid would send the Oilers to the Western Conference Final, eliminating the Flames. So the Flames are going to be sitting on this play, thinking, what if? Now let's break this down. Are they right, or is it truly no goal for distinct kicking motion? Now it's important to note, the play... Uh, the play on the, um, the the ruling on the play originally is goal. So you need some conclusive evidence to overturn this. So and this was a review, not a challenge. Yes, it's worth reading. Now watch the left skate of hand. Now, if you want to go see the footage again, check in the description. Your initial link is is there below. I have to use photos because I don't want to be copyrighted. Also, when I'm stopping and starting this video, it's very choppy all the time, and you'd see me just kind of stopping it and kind of fidgeting around because I'm completely useless with tech. Um, but anyway, puck is behind Mike Smith. Now, it's worth noting, there's a decent argument to, that, to say to this that this puck is going to go in regardless. Coleman's going towards the net. It's, it's trickling behind him. Coleman loses footing right here with his right skate. His skate gets taken out by the pad there, although it's kind of also fault. The guy behind him pushes into him as well. He falls through the crease and makes contact with the puck. Now this is the tough thing. I have two things of thought. Again, look. Now is there an extension of the leg? Slightly, however, it's worth noting that he's only standing on one leg. So it's kind of like fully committing to it. To, to like, Otherwise he's also trying to center, balance himself as well. So this is a tough one. To say it's a distinct kicking motion is tough, but what do they mean by distinct kicking motion? What they're really saying is it looks like a kicking motion. There's The distinct part is just to try to give flavor to the call. Um, what I think on this play is I have two different thoughts, and honestly, I'm kind of torn, but I really want your guys' thoughts in the comments. Here's the way I see it. If you're thinking about it from review standpoint, you see a kicking motion because his leg extends forward. However, if you think about it and think logically speaking, he's only standing on one leg. Um, the guy is pushing from behind him. And also, too, it is hard as frick to be able to kick it in while standing on said leg. He would almost fall completely out. So he goes forward with it. And it is a very short amount of time he has to make that decision. Yes. Also, too, it's worth noting to say that, like, if you think about it logically, you think, well, maybe this should count. Now, granted, I'm not totally sure. I think if you're going by the definition of the rules... And for extension purposes, you technically disallow it. But if I think you look, you look through the logic of the play that's going on and the situational awareness of it without, like, even through the lens of seeing what's going on, I think you might say that this could count. Um, I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Honestly, I'm open to any suggestions on your guys', your guys thoughts and opinions on this call. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I hope you guys understood where I was coming from in this breakdown, and I hope this kind of maybe helped ease some of the um, the clouds of confusion, perhaps, that are laying on this play. And yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really means a lot to us. Helps us out a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Connor, the old for Connor, and